Okay. Okay, guys, so I've got two guys here, direct entry, second officers on the 747. Okay, it's Jaden and Tom. Jaden. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Cathay Pacific. Thank you. So tell me, uh, what's your background? Where, um, did, where, where did you do your flying and so on? Yeah, born in South Africa, moved yeah. to New Zealand when I was eight, lived in New Zealand most of my life. Mm -hmm. um, did my flight training at Massey University. That's from wearing Massey. Massey's, Massey's jacket. <laughs> Um, ah, right. Yeah, okay. Massey University, flying DA forty. So it was my first solo. I was on DA forty. Um, yeah, finished during COVID and decided to become a flight instructor. Finished flying at the same school. No, at a different school, Ardmore Flying School, in Auckland. Um, finished my flight instructor rating on a Friday. The Monday we went into another lockdown, and that was and that was it. That was, that was it. And then, um, what two years later, I applied for Cathay Pacific and got into Cathay Pacific. Okay, good. Yeah. That's good. Tom. Hello. Hello. Hi. What about you? What's your background? What have you done? Uh, I'm a Hong Kong local and I yeah. uh, went to Canada for flight training. I graduated from Mount Ellis University with an aviation degree with Mountain Flight College and uh, flying DA 20s, Seminoles, and Cessnas, and end up becoming an instructor in the Sing Flight School, Mountain Flight College. And Where's the school? Where, where is it? Vancouver? <laughs> where is it? There's a, in a place called Moncton, well, people are going to ask where it is. It's, it's called Mountain. Moncton. Like oh, Moncton. Moncton. Okay. It's uh, on the east coast of Canada, like the super east side. Um, it's... That Halifax a, area sort of thing. Yeah, it's actually, it's very close to Halifax. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's a flight school there. It's, it's, it's an old flight school from 1929. And, right. Yeah, it's been instructed there for two years and teaching on the Diamonds and Seminole. And, yeah, and Cafe... Yeah, Kevin is looking for people, so applying. That's how and, I got here. And you got in. Good. Yeah. Okay, so so how are you liking the 747 so far, you guys? Amazing aircraft. Yeah. Amazing aircraft. Fly like a Cessna. Exactly. <laughs> just a little bit heavier. Exactly. Fly like a Cessna, heavier. just slightly heavier. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, well, so welcome to Cafe as well, Tom. Yeah. And uh, those are the two guys. We've just been doing some base training with them in the sim. And then they'll be going on the aircraft and all that business. So later. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's captain's oxygen mask, like that. So to pull it out, you press the two levers, those two, and pull out. So try and pull that one out. Okay. So when the mask is pulled out, the harness shoot like that, and then you put it on top of your head, yeah, like that, and when you let go, it clamps on your head, like that, okay, now this one doesn't have a visor that you can remove, this one is a fixed visor, as you can see, the dash 8, you can remove it, now to purge the mask, with the mask on, one click counterclockwise, one click, counterclockwise, like that, and then you lift it up, off your face, and then you continue the checklist or whatever you're doing okay yeah. and that's that's that one now if you didn't have your headsets on like you now you do you can put the headset on top of your mask that space in between where your ears are are meant for the headset to go on top so that communications become easier because it's very noisy and so on so you can do that so take the headset off and the mask off press the two, two things yeah like that and then put the headset on and let's say you're in a panic and you wanted to put the mask on you forgot to take your headset off because you had your headset on squeeze you take the oxygen mask off please squeeze put the harness it's designed to fit on top of the headset you just move the mouthpiece out of the way again it sits like that there's no need necessarily to take the headset. The primary thing is to make sure you're protected and you can breathe. The headset is just there. So it can either be on or off, it doesn't matter. That's why that space is there on the oxygen mask. Got that, Jaden? Got that. Got that, Tom? Got it. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Good. So now you know the oxygen mask. When you finish using it, you put it aside on the side behind you somewhere out of the way and then you close the right hand door and reset that gives back the boom mic to the headset 
and then you can put your headset back on and resume communications. It just removes the uh, mic that's in the mask. Yeah. On the 747-8, you close the left-hand door and do the same thing. It's the left door. So it's the right door on the 747-400, it's the left door on the 747-8. So I had uh, Jaden, two new joiners, direct entry, second officers on the Boeing 747. 400 and dash 8 and they just demonstrated to you the use of the oxygen mask on the 747 400 um, those are the masks we have in the cockpit for the crew the reason we have a visor is because we need protection for our eyes if there was smoke in the cockpit so as a passenger of course you only have the one that protects you to allow you to breathe but we need the uh, visor in front so we can read the checklist look at the instruments and so on so it's not special it's just we required to have that for smoke getting into our eyes and we need to see outside to land and so on. There you go. Oxygen masks, 747-400. Later.